is up math superstars in this edition of mr peterson presents we're gonna give you some strategies on how to compare decimals so in comparing decimals we have some different signs that you've been familiar with but we're just going to review really quickly so we have the greater than sign we have the less than sign we have the greater than or equal to so you notice that it's the greater than sign and then that line underneath means that it's also equal to but we also have the less than or equal to sign similar to the greater than or equal to sign except this time it's the less than sign with the line underneath mean less than or equal to and then we have the good old-fashioned equal to sign so we ha we're given these two numbers to compare we're given 325 thousandths and 275 thousandths so we have to figure out what sign we're going to put right in the middle and so what we do is we're, we can compare the place values of each decimal here and so right here we have the ones place we're going to start with they're both zero so if they both match let's go to the next place value to the right and so we have the tenths place and in the tenths place three is greater than two so i'm going to go ahead and use the greater than sign so i'm saying that this number 325 thousandths is greater than 275 thousandths another strategy you can try with this one if you wrote it as fractions 325 over a thousand and then 275 over a thousand you can just end up comparing the numerators and so you know that 325 is greater than 275 so let's take a look at these two decimals here we have 654 thousandths and then we have 65 hundredths so in order to finish in order to compare these two decimals we're given this hint up here in the corner of our video and so what we can do is we can add zeros to match the place value and so our longest decimal here is the tenths hundredths thousandths place and so over here with 65 hundredths we have tenths hundredths for thousands let's go ahead and add our zero in that's going to help us compare these two numbers and so if we go ahead and compare the ones place they're both the same so let's go to the tenths place when we go to the tenths place they are both the same so let's go to the hundredths place and we know that they are both the same so let's go to the thousands place so in the thousands place the four is greater than zero so i'm going to go ahead and use the greater than sign